Oh no, I'm not doing the intro. You do the intro. No. No. Pussy. I'm not the intro person. Fine. I'm the intro person. Hello. This is intro person. This is intro person's wife. Yeah. This is intro person wife's hand. Uh. Yeah, that was different. <laughs> uh, if you joined us for the first time, we buy, uh, we sell, we collect nerdy guff. Yeah. Basically. Uh, this is a hodgepodge of about 80% charity shops, 10% CEX, 9% a thrift <laughs> shop, a thrift shop, a pawn S- shop, 1%, and 1% pound stretcher. Yeah, I couldn't remember the name of the shop. Well, to start with pound stretcher? No, nah, start with that. Starts with C of X. This was £15 from the glorious CEX that everyone complains about, but are really not that bad. Everyone complains about and still shops there. Yeah. It was like, if you don't like it, don't buy it. Don't shop there. It will save more shit like this for me. For £15, I got a completely fucking boxed... That's I can't think good. of the word I'm looking for here, but a very apart from the manual, a very nice condition boxed gold knife for 15 quid. Yeah. That's like, I don't know, three, four less than eBay. And when I paid with vouchers, with stuff I paid five quid for, maybe, I got this for the equivalent of a fiver. Which is really not bad. Yeah. How people can complain is bad. They're a rip-off. I don't know. And at least you got a very pretty man. I would just like to say as well, it keeps trying to face tag her. Not Pierce. It's trying to do Isabella Scrooge. The only Bond girl of recent years that no one knows who the hell she is. <laughs> wow. That's how good she was, is it? She was hot, but that was, yeah, you know, no one... <laughs> Apparently, as well, why? I just thought was, well, there is no Famke Janssen on this. Did they not like? Did she not like her face? Anyway, yeah. Talk about it's <laughs> your bag. Got my beautiful bag. Look, I got a Marie. Uh, a Marie. 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 Shut up. She's my favourite. She's in, everyone's favourite. Fine, chavy energy drinks. I and s- then she just saw sort of this bag and. <laughs> Yeah, I made like a very strange noise and sort of picked it up. I have so many Disney tote bags now that I actually don't know what to do with them. I'm probably going to make some of them into cushion covers. Yes, you have so many now you don't know what to do with them. (laughs) It's not like when you got the first one you didn't know what to do with them because they're just left on the floor. But Marie, I'm going to keep her forever. She's now my official bag. From the ugly to the sexy. Shut up. (laughs) Fear 3. Very friggin' bright. We'll move it down a bit. Fear 3, Collector's Edition. £10 from CEX. With the gorgeous Alma. And Yay. her half-naked demon-ness. With her extremely <laughs> pert buttocks. She's got a better ass than I do. No comment. <laughs> the belly apparently lights up, uh, glows in the dark. We haven't witnessed this yet. I mean, you can see it's a different colour. Yeah. But, yeah. We haven't witnessed this yet. I, I think we may have to hold her up to the light bulb. Kind of looks like my ex. <laughs> Just a bit. Same hair. That was more what I did. Same tits. <laughs> and also... Shiny still. Shiny. I like the way the... Th- I like that there's that... far more effort gone... Uh, yes, it's slightly... Kind of. Far more effort has gone into this than the actual game. The game was pretty... Yeah. The only thing that people complaining about Kex is there's no game in there. Because they're... Idiots. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what happened there. Either they took it because it was in the window, so you know it should. The game should be in there, but she checked Golden I was in there, but not this. <laughs> but yeah, and also I would just like to comment on what the bloody Christ is this pathetic excuse for a comic book? I don't give a toss about comic books, but Christ, it's, I mean, and it's it's very bent. It's because it was sandwiched in at the bottom. There's a brilliant nick as this was, then there's that at the bottom. Yeah, that was literally like <laughs> crumpled in like that. But, I mean, I, I don't give a toss about comics, but Christ, that's like that's a pamphlet at best. <laughs> Take away. Give me Alma. She'll, leave, uh, she'll just leave her creepily. Yeah. No, she, she takes up too much space. Come on, Alma. We'll just do this as the rest won't finish up. <laughs> so now, all the charity shop stuff from today. £1.50. If you can't read. £1.50. <laughs> We've seen this in three of... Two or three uh, different charity shops gonna... where we went in the same town. One wanted, I think, ten for this. Another one, I think, wanted five or six. I can't remember now. <coughs> but... I remember it slowly started dwindling, but it never got cheap enough. Yeah, but this was about a month ago. 
And then when we went today, they had it in a completely different one for one pound fifty, <laughs> brand new, literally sealed, sealed. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be utterly bollocks, as I don't think. I'm assuming these aren't licensed games. I'm sure it'll be awesome. It'll probably be like the weird, the weird knockoffy ones you get on those things from Wish.com, except this is some licensed crap that I think you get from like Menkind or yeah, that, that weird. Sort of funky shop yeah that no one ever buys anything in <laughs> no oh no i bought a funko pop from all right no one ever buys any of the weird tech that they do <laughs> no possibly the best bargain best bargain the best bargain the best bargain in a charity shop ever for, for a long time except there's no disc in it <laughs> i did know this i did check before i bought it but for a pound for crash team racing on the ps1 that's you know yeah. The box itself I could probably quite easily sell for like a tenner maybe on eBay. But I could also probably just find a disc. Yeah. Or pick up a disc from somewhere. Yeah. Weirdly, I used to work in a charity shop. That's not the weird part. <laughs> um, and the first, the lady who worked in there rang me up and went, we've got some PS1 games. I like, ooh. That came, came down. One of them was this. And that one was missing the disc as well. Yeah, some sort of conspiracy. Yeah. Crash team stealing. I don't know. Conspiracy team racing. Ha. Ah. Clockwork Orange. Yeah. On Blu-ray. Brand new. Properly brand new, not like resealed. Try not to blind people here. <laughs> 20p. 20 of your 20 finest 20 of your, pence. yes. To Americans, that's about 20 cents now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, so, yeah. it's a very overrated film, I think, but... I've still never seen it. Of course you haven't. Even when we owned it before. And you, and... <laughs> yep, even when we owned it, I still never saw it. Malcolm McDowell looks wrong, young. I know. I thought it was a very boring film, well... which possibly shows that uh, it's just my, our mind. <laughs> yeah. C- completely different charity shop, but another brand new Blu-ray. Two very fit people on the front. And Harrison Ford and Ryan Gosling. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan Gosling, this was quite good. Yeah. Very I mean, long, but I quite good. But do not like Ryan Gosling program. is one of the worst actors in t- in TV <laughs> in, in TV. America. <laughs> he does the sa- that face. He does that face in everything he does. I mean, he was cool in Drive, but that's because he didn't. But speak. yeah, that's the, he's, but he's doing that same. I am cool. I do nothing. I am vaguely pretty. Yay me! I thought like, is it because the other Canadian Ryan took all the personality? <laughs> yes. I mean, I think he was on Graham Norton. Sorry, little rant. He was on Graham Norton, and he seemed very funny. He seemed really nice, and like, you know, yeah. he seemed to have a great personality. Why does it not come across on screen ever? I don't know. And also, Anna de what's her face is. So, my precious Jared Leto. I liked him until 30 Seconds to Mars became shite. <laughs> He's a very good actor, but 30 Seconds to Mars became shite. Yeah, sorry, this was pound fifty from a completely different charity shop, but I didn't say that, I can't remember. Also, it's stupidly long. Yeah, it was stupidly long. Random. At the time of video in this, this only came out about a month ago. Yeah. I have no idea if he's any good. <laughs> probably not. But Brendan Fraser. Yeah, he's actually in things. Brendan so... Fraser. Holy crap. And an extremely photoshopped front cover of neither of them looking like that. <laughs> yeah, that's totally what John Travolta looks like now. Yeah. Well, not Morgan Freeman's face with no neck. Oh, yeah. I didn't even <laughs> notice that he's got no neck. I bought that because I love it. That was like Ridley Scott's one of his only good films. Yeah. <laughs> Again, no, uh, we, he's got, like... we have bad opinions apparently, but no, I literally can't think of another. I like one. Black Hawk Down. I, I, like I know there's another one of his films that I liked, but I really don't know what it I is. I like the two that no one likes, i.e., Black Hawk Down and G.I.J. Uh, it's like the whole Peter Jackson thing. I really like the Frighteners, but I hate Lord of the Rings. Again, twenty p. As I was saying, that, sorry, the one where we got the brand new Blu-ray, everything is 20p, yeah. regardless, unless it's two discs and it's 40p, three discs, 60p, etc. I.e. like Spongebob, which is four discs and thus apparently 80p, but really? when we paid for it, she said that's 40p. Yeah. I don't know why. She said it's gone down to 40p, so... It contains right. scary moments, apparently. Yeah, Spongebob. You bought this. I bought this, because it's based on a creepypasta, and I love me a creepypasta. Does Robert Englund... Have you seen it? 
No. I predict Robert England dies very quickly. I predict Robert England is maybe the Midnight Man. Maybe. I've I've listened to this creep pass like a million and one times. I absolutely love it. If you haven't, do it. It's called. It's obviously called the Midnight Man. I got this too because it's retro profit master yeah i don't know it's it, retro <laughs> it is an import but i don't care it's a master. pound as well like they charge more <laughs> did someone actually research that and realize based on the true story yeah. like every pissing bastard film nowadays puppet master's based on the true story the martian's based on blade runner's based on a new <laughs> true story right and then last <laughs> i will int- should i just plonk it all on yeah why not Oh yeah, the last film we didn't really say anything about. I bought we sort of blinding people bought that because I like this sort of crap. She likes crap. I do. A TBS and a bundle of games. Have a quick guess. You're wrong. <laughs> You're 20, way off. Twenty five pound for a yeah for all of this. You got Sonic Rush, Tetris Party, Puzzler Collection, and New Super Mario Bros. It was actually nice as well. Like, it does it. This was in the pawn shop that we just saw in the window. And we was, I'm in an R in a moment. And show off games with him. And decided to basically do it. Without blinding everyone. Yes, yeah, so we have a nice pink. And it works. I'm done. Go. Put it down on. Come on. You can do it. Come on. It doesn't want to play now. There we go. Yay. But yeah, works fine. Needed a charge, but we don't own a 2DS or 3DS, so... We do now. We do now. <laughs> I mean, we couldn't... We don't know whether to keep this or sell it or or what, but... I was just quick to turn it off as well. Uh, not only that, it had a dragon quest in there a very blinding <laughs> dragon quest in there yeah this is worth a lot of bloody money so the only stupid thing was it, one of the games originally was not that it was bejeweled but i thought that would he said like he had a couple of other ones and he said we could swap some if we wanted annoyingly we couldn't swap the shit one <laughs> but yeah i tried i thought i'd get that and it's worth less Oh well. Oh well. So you like. made up for it with the Dragon Quest. Yeah, we epically made up for it with the Dragon Quest. So we now have a 2DS. Yay. Annoyingly, we sold the Pokemon game from that, a, from I would have that you would have played from a couple of weeks ago. And the other Mario game that you would have tried. Yeah, which I literally sold today. Yes. It didn't even occur to me to keep it if we bought this. I sort of sold it and then like five minutes I was like, why the bloody hell did I sell that? I think it's because I'm an idiot. Yep. Anyway, I think hands up if you got a bargain. Thumbs up if you think we got a bargain. Subscribe if you think we got a bargain. <laughs> or just do it anyway. Yes, or just like us because we're lovely. Well, I am amazing. Yeah, you're all right. Amazing. That'll do. Both of my feet have gone completely numb. Same. <laughs> Au revoir, people. Toodly oodly.